Hey. Why are you going to bring it here and then... We got matches. <laughs> <laughs> there was, I don't need no stinking matches. There were two unused matches, and Randy's like, I got matches. I'm like, well, yeah, they, I, I bought matches. cigars, and he was like, you want free matches? I was like, yeah. Shit. Matches are fine. Yeah, I can take free matches. I like matches. I don't need your stinking matches. All right. <laughs> I'll use my torch and... Da, 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 Shut up. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Neener. Da, 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 Fuckers. Da, All right. Da, 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 Merry Christmas, da, da, da. happy now. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Mike and Randy at the Mac Shack. What's up, guys? If you've ever had a toad on your wet sprocket, you're in good company. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? I like that I one. Thought of, I thought of that on the way out. I have no clue why, because I was even listening to music. I like that one. See? <laughs> See, now you Sucka. do need matches. Now you need matches. Bitch. Boy, if only I had a book of matches here. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So, happy new year, guys. Like, Indeed. this is our first show back together after... New Year's. New Year. And <laughs> it's still within the week, and so Christmas. We, can, we can say happy new year. We can. Yeah. I mean, we could say... Happy in, Kwanzaa. We could say in July if we wanted to. Well, we can say it whenever we want. But, you know, whatever. So, hey, how was everyone's uh, Christmas and their new year? Because we didn't really... We haven't really... I mean, we've been texting, but we haven't really chatted. Um, my much. Christmas was great. I gave gifts that I was, I was excited about. Good. Yeah. Um, passed out, hit my head on the door frame. Not supposed to do that. Yeah. So, so <laughs> generally frowned upon. That was that was Christmas Eve. I don't know what happened. Had lunch at mom and dad's. We we're going to open gifts. I stood up. Everybody's talking. Next thing I know, Tim. Burn! I woke up about halfway down, tucked my chin, and uh, let me see your torch, please. <coughs> Matches it, didn't it, work well in the big. Cigar. Yeah, I was about to say it's being spotty. So, but uh, yeah, so I passed out and don't know why. Awesome, and that's great news to hear, Randy. It's been it's been one week one since weeks. you looked at me. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it's been one week since I was seeing Tweety Birds spinning around. Seeing my head. stars. Well, stars look beautiful. I'm glad I? that you're okay. I mean, uh, I, as far as we know, as much as I'd like you, I guess. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm glad to hear that you're. Wrecked you're I'm not dead. You're still six foot above. That was. Uh, I had. Yeah. I had concerns. Yeah, Beth. Beth. Mom said my eyes went blank, glassy stare. She. She was like, "You were looking right through me." Like thousand yard stare. Yeah, Beth thought I was dead. Um, None so, of those things are good. Well, there for a while, I think. Mike and I thought you were dead because you weren't responding to any messages. And you're usually like, a message comes in, it's like, it shows you your little icon that you've read it. And they uh, they weren't coming through at all. And I'm like, oh, Randy. I looked at Liz, I'm like, Randy might be dead. And she's like, what? <laughs> I said, he hasn't responded to a message in the past two hours. Yeah, I was, I, there was a, over the holidays, I did a lot of trying not to die <laughs> and therefore soul searching. I'm off Facebook now except for Fridays and maybe Mondays. Okay. Uh, which I think is just good, healthy. Yeah, social media sucks anyway. Yeah. Like, it's the worst. Um, it was weird the first week because I'm always sharing memes. and Yeah. But I was like, you know, it's Hurt, not. Hurts the first time. Yeah. It's, uh, depends on how you've prepped. I but mean, uh, I was like, you know, it's not that bad. I don't miss it as much as I thought I would. Good. Um, but I also quit replying. I muted like all my messages, all my signal chats. I muted everything for like well, three don't, days. Well, don't mute us. I didn't mute you guys. I just didn't reply. Oh. <laughs> There's a couple I didn't mute, but I was just like, eh. I just, I just wasn't in the right mind to do anything. I didn't drink because I was like, well, you almost died. So let's just like try and not. Not die. Eat crap and drink crap for a while. And uh, it's like every time I stood up, Beth's like, if you're going to stand up, let me know. So wherever I was, she wanted to be in the room, which, fair enough. Yeah, you fell down and bumped your head. <laughs> I smacked it hard. But, uh, yeah, so I'm still here. 
Um, yeah, and you guys are like, we gonna record New Year's Eve? And I was like, he, no, you go without me. I'm, I still wasn't right. Like, I don't know if I should be driving just yet. Yeah, probably. And that's like, well, I'll drive, and then we'll just like sit in the truck. I was like, for two and a half hours. That like, sounds you awful. and a five year old. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> like, that, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Right. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm not making you do that. That's ridiculous. Drive around lovely downtown Lancaster. Ugh. So uh, <laughs> all the methods. Go to the Aha yeah. Museum or whatever. <laughs> go to the Glass Museum. Go, <laughs> go to the mall <laughs> and this is where old navy used to be it's still it's there it's still there old it's navy is oh yeah what yeah. about the arcade yeah there yeah. is an arcade okay. yes there I is think. an arcade that one there. in the back corner yep like, that's still yeah. there I've, i used to take huck there all the time because you could walk like you go in that side door and there's like four people in there yeah i think it's still there mm-hmm. nice there's it's a lot of now it's just i had money right games. outside that yeah. I, I i had money outside that arcade i wonder if anybody found it when I was doing that TikTok hide money thing, yeah, I did one there, and nobody ever replied. They found it. Yeah. I also did one at the Dum Dum Factory. Did you know that's in Ohio? The fuck? Is, oh, no. like the, the suckers. suckers? No. Yeah, it's I in a place, think I remember seeing that TikTok. It's a place called Bryan, Ohio. There's nothing in this town. Like, there's not a hotel in this town. There's two motels, and I will not stay at those. Well, but I was there for work, and I was like, "Hey, Dum Dum Factory, let's check it out." It was middle of COVID, so I couldn't take the tour. So I hid a thing in their lot. And then, like six months ago, and then ago, security came out, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, I I, I hit it. Let, I always leave with a note like, "Hey, I'm on TikTok. Here's some money. Congrats. If you're on TikTok, tag me. If not, have a nice day." Yeah. And like six months ago, this dude found it. He's a he's a security guard walking the lot, and it, I hid it under gravel and stuff in like one of their parking lots. Yeah. And it somehow got kicked up, and he picked it up. He's like, "Hey!" And I was like, "Holy crap! That was like three years ago." <laughs> like, I thought somebody just found it, and you know, it was gone. Yeah. Nope. And uh, yeah, he was like, "Hey, found it!" I was like, Pfft. It's "Awesome!" I wonder if the one in Lancaster is still there, though. Oh, I'm about to go down to the mall after this. You can't. I'll, I'll tell you right where it's at. <laughs> okay. Since you're on TikTok and all. Yeah. <laughs> so, how was yours, Mike? It was good. Like, this is the busiest time of year for me. So, well, like, yeah. all of all of my spare time has been sent just like resting and recuperating <laughs> so that's the same i mean it's but i i so i we spend i i think we all the three of us spend about the entire month of december drinking yeah <laughs> uh-huh. like i did until i passed out and hit my head and then yeah. i was like um so we're maybe time out <laughs> yeah like i don't think drinking calls that but it can't help it can't help it so i always do a dry january every like I've been doing it for years every now. Every January. Every January. Every year. And then Mike's I like, do I'm... I dry January and March. I, well, you can. I guess. I mean, it, it's like no nut November. You can do that in, <laughs> in April. I'd rather not drink. It's bad for your prostate. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> do all nut November. <laughs> <laughs> this is all day. Just every jerk I, off I, all I day. Can't, I can't go out yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, or can you? So... My Christmas, same thing. It was I gave gifts that I I felt that people would would want and like. Um, like Liz got a six foot fake olive tree, fantastic for her office. Okay. That is the only thing she said she wanted out of three hundred and sixty five fucking days this year. <laughs> so she's like, "What do you What do you think about getting some fake plants for my office? Because she'll kill a real plant. Yeah. She will murder that fucking thing." And I'm like. All right, yeah, you know we can we can do that. Does she kill plants or are plants not? Or do plants enough? kill themselves? Yeah, they probably yeah they suicide. commit suicide. They just she just they get cleaned. They just whatever they're they're Epstein. <coughs> she doesn't like for whatever reason she can't. <coughs> they just don't sustain. They life. just don't stay alive. So and she tries. It's not that she doesn't like water them. She doesn't overwater. They just nothing. So. I got her this six, five foot olive tree. I've never seen someone so excited for a fake plant. <laughs> like immediately ripped the when she opened up. She's like, "Oh my god!" And then starts like like opening, opening it, it and opening it, and trying to put it together before anything is ever done. I'm like, well, so "Calm the fuck down here." Dude, we got there's other there's sh- other yeah, shit is, to open. It, this is it. It's like, She's like, "Nope." It's like the kids. You open one toy and they want to play with it immediately. I'm like, yeah. "You got more." She's like, nope. nope. Harley fucking played with the box it came in. <laughs> the <laughs> Amazon box. When it when I took it out of the box, she took the box up to her room, snuck it up to her room, and was playing in the box. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You're 11. 
We got an Amazon box now that, you know, those little fake tea lights with the fake flame? Uh-huh. Yeah. Beth pokes holes in the box, put them upside down, Judd lays in there and, like, reads and stuff. <laughs> like, awesome. Well, that would have saved us some money. Yeah, yeah right? no kidding. <laughs> so, so anyway, we got dry January going on. Um, we're It's the 7th. So I'm far, feeling, so good? So far, so good. I'm feeling really good. Like, I yeah. typically, I'm like, ah, you know, I'll just get a drink. But... Apparently, I have the willpower enough to go, eh, I don't need one. It'd be nice to have one, but I don't need one. Yep. Um, but because we drink and talk shit on the show, we're going to do near beer. And I think that's what I'm going to call the show. I think I'm going to call it near beer. So you have non alcoholic You already had non-alcoholic sitting around here. So we've got, this is Nanny State from BrewDog, which is yeah, right bought, up the road. Yeah, I bought the BrewDog. Mix pack. They okay. actually have, they have a several robust non-alcoholic selection. As a matter of fact, you know, f- shameless plug, you know, in the month of January, if you go to Brew Dog, they will give you and buy a non-alcoholic beer. It's free refills in January. Well, because it's water. Yeah, it's carbonated yeah. flavored. It's beer flavored water. Yep. So this is, uh, near beer always got me, and I had a cousin that for his bachelor party he quit drinking because he was. Going too far, so he gave up alcohol at that time. Yeah, and uh, so I got a bunch of like O'Doul's in a and and the drinking OG, it kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing, only option I had at the time. Yeah. What is what is uh, the one that starts with an H? Fuck, I can't think of the. I think it's an H. Henninger, Henninger. I don't think makes no. one. Maybe it's not an H. There's one that's just non-alcoholic. There's because I I we did it last year. Athletic. Athletic, athletic I, I've had athletic. I don't know that I was a huge fan of their stuff. I mean, it all tastes like, well, it smells good, tastes good, sort of. It's like drinking decaf coffee. This smells though. like an you know IPA. there's nothing there. Yeah. And it's a it's, hoppy. It's, it's hoppy. It's, it's a hoppy gold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Randy's not going to like it. No, it's not. It, it's hoppy and there's no alcohol. I'm going to hate it. <laughs> it's kind of grapefruity. Yeah. little club soda-y. Yeah. Like all near beer just tastes grape soda-y or club soda-y. Yeah. Like I had a beer. There's a little bit left in it. I filled up the glass with club soda. And this, this is, is it. This is White Claw. I'm drinking a White Claw right yeah, now. Yeah, it's yellow. It's a yellow White Claw. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's not terrible. No, it's it's fine. Like, it, what it does is, is in, in, like, I get home from a long day of work, this scratches an itch. Yeah. Yeah. This will this will This will scratch a big itch for people. Yeah. And I found out in the state of Ohio... Because when I bought it, it I, there was no tax on it. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. Uh, near beers, wines, liquors, whatever, denatured spirits that are 0.5 and under are considered a food item in Ohio. So they're oh. not subject to sales tax or liquor tax. So, How can we do that with whiskey? You may have to drink like whiskey that's 0.5% point, point, nah. point whiskey. <laughs> How can we do that with hazmat <laughs> bottles of whiskey? Can we get 144s with no tax? Yeah, be probably awesome. Not. Well, I, I, I did find out that um, in a little OHLQ news, Jim, the guy who runs the, the liquor control agency right now, is apparently moving to take over the weed industry of Ohio. Cool. So hopefully... We get better selection of stuff here in Ohio. Yeah. Because his selections suck. I never go get an OHLQ pick for anything because they are usually trash. But so you're, if you, if you live in Ohio and you want weed, you're going to get it. Now and it's going to come legal. in 33 fucking flavors like Baskin <laughs> Robbins. <laughs> Everything it's all going to be flavored bullshit. Whatever, that's fine. So I'm happy getting free. I'm I'm happy to smoke it legally. Well, what was or funny is take a gummy. Really, when I was leaving, uh, so I was at my, my youngest basketball game. Came straight here. My father in law is there, and I said, "He's like, oh, you're you're leaving now." He's like, I said, we drove separate. Listen, I drove separate, and he's like, oh, he goes, I said, I got to do a podcast. And he's like, oh, and he looked at me, and he goes, "Are you inviting?" And he went like this. And I went, what are you talking about, Denny? <laughs> and he's like. Eating chocolate? He just like, he goes, you know, it's. And, he, I, and I'm, I'm like. I'm going to need you to use your words here. I'm like, what are you talking? I said, what do you mean? Like, am I. 
I said, it's, I'm doing a podcast. He's like, yeah. I said, not a podcast. And he goes, God, he was like, you know what? You're drinking whiskey. I'm like, drinking whiskey? <laughs> I said, or, sip, sip, pass. I'm like, is, is there something we need to, you and I need to discuss? Like, in vibing in, and he goes, get out of here. He's like, just get, get out of here. He's, he saw, so, he's he so straight laced. He saw the new whistle pig. I, I, I messaged him. Yeah. Did you hear back? No. No. Yeah. No, I sent them a message, um, and I have not gotten a response yet on if there's any way that we can get a sample bottle to try for the show. And I did it from the Buckhorn Instagram account, so I don't know. Fingers crossed. And it doesn't show, for business accounts, it doesn't show when someone's seen or read it. So, I don't know. Apparently, it's time. See to what end. happens. It's about time to end the show, though. Randy just stood up. Second, I've actually stood up. Second about, time. That's no, I'm, second, actually, I, I'm counting. I'm actually about like 11 <laughs> because I just want to see how many times I can stand up during a show <laughs> and move the chair so it looks like I'm I love my it. Butt. I love it. So, a listener down in Texas, uh, if you check the YouTube comments, Johnny Edwards is. Uh, hey, Johnny. He's been. He's been commenting on things, and he said he knows when the show's about to end because about 15 minutes before it's over, Randy stands up. And picks a three-foot wedgie <laughs> out of my butt crack. <laughs> Which I, I told them before the show, I said, it's funny because I, I was like, do I, do I don't that? often get wedgies. So I watched get it back. Matches. And it's where <laughs> I'm so fat, I stand up and I adjust the stool behind me. But you can't see the stool. <laughs> you just see my arm go behind my back, <laughs> moving. <laughs> Shaky, shaky, and it's it, but it's still hilarious. Oh, I, dude, I lost it. I sent it to everybody. The screenshot. Well, you know, there's only two things in Texas: steers and queers. And Johnny, if you're a steer, I want to eat you. That's but weird. if you're a queer, same, I want to eat answer. you. <laughs> Why'd you got to ruin my joke, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> we love steaks and we love homosexuals oh. here. Oh. We don't judge. We will eat everybody. No, we out. judge, but we're fairly <laughs> even about it. Yeah. I just realized you put a chandelier up there. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> yep. Man, you did redecorate it. There's here. some yeah, so so Mike's been doing some redecorating. You can kind of see behind me. New t- there's another TV, a different TV up here. That TV moved. That yeah. TV's gone. That TV went to here. The big TV went over there. There's a turntable behind me, I'd show you, but it just looked like I was picking my ass. So and then there's a chandelier up there that no one used can to be. See. Yeah, I was about to say it used to be in my front hall, and I rewired it so I could plug it in. That's it's, it's just freaked. I love it. it uh, I God, awesome. I can't wait. We got like stage lights on too. Yeah, they're bright. We got LED LED strip up there. Yeah, there's going to be another one that go across the top of the whiskey bottles too. Uh, I like it. Looks good, man. So I've been. I, I've got. And incidentally. Being dry and then working in here for ten and a half hours. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's just like <laughs> son of a bitch. That's another reason I got the, the the NA. So I've been I've I've got you know I've got that basement because my we don't know because we've not been invited. Well, I haven't. been. Well, no one's been invited yet. Um, but I have a basement that's probably Are you changing the colors. Of uh-huh. the LEDs? Yeah. <laughs> no one can see it, but it's there. But it's, uh, we can. We can. It's set in the ambiance. Those are the the reading lights. It's rainbow. Can you make it where it just changes? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just flat. There we go. Cycles. No, I feel like I'm a teenager. Yeah. Nature. In their bedroom yeah. getting on TikTok. <laughs> so this, in, in the McMansion, the basement is about 1,500 square feet. Nice. It's fucking enormous. And um, I've had contractors come over to give me quotes on just drywalling it out, you know, insulating it, doing the, the bathroom, because there's a bath, there'll be a bathroom down there. And that'll be handy. Yeah. Is there an entrance to the basement from the outside? No. And I've almost considered putting in like a cellar style entrance where you have the two doors yeah. that just open up. But I don't know that the HOA would like that so much. And they would have to go on the south side of the house. And they're like, what if there's a twister? Yeah. I'm like, I got to go to my basement. <laughs> uh, the, only the, storm way, the only way to get there is to walk all the way around the house. So I'm just like, eh, I probably won't do it. But. One guy this comes guy's in. It has an egress. And just, I'm just putting it in a bedroom, so yeah. I have to have a way gotta, to get out. Gotta have a way to get out. I thought about the egress thing, but I don't know that I want to spend the 10 to 12 grand to yeah. have it put in. So one guy comes in, and he's at like 
$55,000 for framing. I'll do it for fifty four. <laughs> for framing, flooring. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Painting the ceiling, doing the bathroom completely. Like, there's no drywall on the ceiling okay. at all. I'm, just, I'm having it all painted black. The only place there'll be drywall on the ceiling is in the bathroom and in one of the nooks because the nook is super echoey. It's, just, it's all concrete. Yeah. So I have to do something. Um, and that's... That's getting everything done. And then I have to move a couple of things. Like I need to move the pressure tank for the well is in the way. The hot water tank is getting replaced. We found out that it's it's from 2005. It's gas. It's got um, calcium deposits in it, like bouncing around. I'm like, this thing's a fucking time bomb. Well, that's because nobody ever drains. No one ever cleans their shit. like they're supposed to. Yeah. I mean, I did it twice in 15 years at the old house. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> I know. But I had to, I mean, I replaced heater coils. I did it. I drained it. You're supposed to drain it every year. I don't. Nobody no one does. does. That's nobody what does. I'm saying. Nobody does. Nobody does. So anyway, so we're going to a tankless Thanks. system. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to a tankless system. Um, so that's getting moved out of the way. And then... Everything and then there'll be a, a fake wall put up, or not a fake wall, but a wall put up for a to hide part. it all. Yeah, to hide everything, and that'll be the mechanics room. But I'm just like, fuck, fifty thousand. One guy's like, well, we're doing a nine hundred square foot basement now, and with everything and finished out, you know, we're looking at sixty five thousand. I'm like, oh, you're just framing and putting insulation up. Like the big thing is the bathroom. Yeah, everything else is. Like, like I tell could, me how much for the bathroom. I could do it myself. The problem is it'll take me ten times longer because I gotta do it in free time. Right. So but I have another quote from another guy, and it's right around thirty eight thousand. Which is a little more reasonable. It's about where I want to be. It's the guy that it's my handy guy that does like the all other the stuff, shit. yeah. For forty eight thousand, he's not only gonna do the basement, he's gonna put in the hot water tank, move the pressure tank, run a, a gas line. For when we want to upgrade our our uh, stove, the stove, he's going to put in eighteen can lights in the house upstairs. I'm like, this that, is that's the way to do it. This yeah. is what we're doing. This is probably the way I'm going to end up going. Plus, I haven't heard back from two of the guys. That drives me fucking crazy. That I sent that that came to the house. Like they're just nowhere to be found, and I won't follow up. Like I, that's not my responsibility. Like they want to work. You send me a message. You get with me. So hopefully we'll be able to record a show at the house at some point in the basement, maybe in June. Because once once everything's done, I'll do all the finish work. There's some fake paneling that I want to make it look like and get the walls painted. Yeah, class it up. Get some furniture down there. Um, There'll be four fucking TVs just in one area. For our studio, can we do the faux wood paneling and shag carpet? Like No. Like avocado green shag carpet, I, avocado t- refrigerator. I had considered it at one point, but the orange and no. red floral couch. Now there's already an orange carpet here in Lancaster. Yeah. Nobody wants to be a And nobody wants that. to go to that shit hole. <laughs> I don't even want to know. It's a bar. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a bar. So I'm looking forward to getting the basement done. Um, and then once I get that nailed down and that work starts, then I start on the backyard because there's nothing back here. And I've got to get a deck and patio and all the things, hot tub and landscaping, and it's going to be that's going to be a goddamn mess. Like I'm going to tear up my backyard. That'll go over well. I yeah. The HOA. Yeah. Well, I don't give a fuck what they think. As long as it looks nice after it's done, who gives a shit? So, all right. So on yes, to the next it's one. It's been happening for 20 years. It's an ongoing project. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So how long it took me to build the last deck? <laughs> It literally took me 12 years to, to build it and finish it. So. And then you moved. And then I moved. So, you know. Fucking neighbor. Yeah, fuck that guy. So apparently the. Oh, my wedgie. Speaking of, the my my old neighbor up the road, the one I, I bourbon guy that I drink with, he uh, sends me a text. He's like, what the fuck is the guy doing who just bought your house? I'm like, I don't know. You live next door to him. <laughs> He's like, well, the strange thing is, is I don't live there anymore. So yeah, I'm like, I don't know. And he goes, was there extra dirt from when you excavated the pool? I'm like, nope. So there's like piles of dirt fucking down there everywhere. I'm like, no, there was no dirt. He moved the shed to the back of the property. Okay. Back towards the pond, which is not really a pond. Um, 
and apparently he's grading the ground like he's he's I, I'm like he's putting in a building like yeah. that's I I know what he's doing he's he's prepping it for a building and he's like are you sure he's like I'm not sure what he's doing down there he's like he's ripped out half the fence too and I'm like his property not my problem like I don't care I just hope he drives the other guy nuts like I just hope he's right just driving him fucking insane. What he's doing is he's grading everything so it drains to the new <laughs> to that God, neighbor. That would be fucking great. <laughs> well, there was some there was some grading that I that I needed to do that I never got around to doing, and I'm just like fuck it, I don't. And then we moved, and now I'm really like fuck it, I don't care. Like I've driven by the house a couple times just to see, like what's going on down there. And at one point, so my old office was army green, uh-huh. and you could see it was green from like if the window was open and the lights were on. It is stark fucking white right now. Like, it is so goddamn bright. bright. I drove by. I'm like, holy shit. It's, it's like a fucking North Star up there. say it's a beacon. So, these matches aren't great. This thing won't stay lit either. It's, they were you, free. You can never keep a cigar lit. I can't keep a match lit either, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so we're on to the next one. Uh, this is from BrewDog. It is Punk AF, and it is a hoppy ale. And Mike is like halfway through his glass already. Mm. So technically, I, I, I there, technically there is alcohol in these. Yep. A little bit. Yeah. But so it's no more than mouthwash. My reply to uh, TFA's question is more apropos now. They were like, hey, one weekend, dry January. How's everybody doing? I just put moist. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. I did post a video I said today. Bone dry. Yeah, I I posted a video today and, from uh, the the one you that got sent. No, it's about a dry. It's about dry January. Oh, um, and Jimmy's the only one who liked it. It's kind of like that's fucking stupid. <laughs> but I can't remember if it's Ron Burgundy or who it was uh, that Ron Burgundy. But it's like when uh. When your friends want to do dry January and then it comes up and but I can't remember who who it was. My brain's not working a hundred percent. Hundred. Hundred percent. Hundred. So all right. I uh I'm kinda enjoying this. Yeah, I, I like this I, one better than the first one. Yeah, actually. I like the side the, the punk yeah. is good. The punk is good. And I know that the punk AF is alcohol free, but goddamn no, that's punk as fuck. Yeah. It's Hazy Jane, hazy as fuck, Elvis as fuck. Yeah, I like. I like. I like the non-alcoholic stuff. Like, it's not that I don't like it. You just don't get the. You don't get the high from it. Flavor. <laughs> well, there's that too. <laughs> it's very muted. This yeah. fucking thing. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna use up all of Randy's free matches. matches. Trying to keep this thing lit. You want the torch? No. Okay. Oh, I want to struggle with this. So, anyway, uh, we need to take a little break here for a sponsor read, though. So you guys, you guys didn't know about that. We got we we picked up a sponsor or, or a few. Okay. So, here's our sponsors. We're gonna we're gonna. I'm going to try to get through this live reading without hey, fucking it up. Hey, dick soft, get blue chew. <laughs> Seems like they sponsor every podcast ever. They, yeah, they they sponsor a lot of... Who, hymns? Get, <laughs> get blue chew. It's like Viagra, but cheaper. No, this one... <laughs> through Zoom. This one is... <laughs> team, TeamU.com. This is, this is an upcoming company called High Giggle Hormones. Ooh. It's testosterone, like HGH. So how are they sponsoring us? Well, we're going to read this, and then people that go and buy it, we get a cut. All right. I like it. Okay. And you're going to do the read. You you I'm, and the three of us are, are the one that's going to do the read. I am. I'm going to attempt this. Race Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> our first ever sponsor read in five years. We're going we're gonna to see how this goes. So this episode is brought to you by High Giggle Hormones. Hey, vertically challenged friends. Feeling like you need a boost in life? Tired of reaching for the top shelf but barely making it to the middle? Well, do we have a solution for you? Introducing High Giggle Hormones, or HGH for short. Forget step stools and elevator shoes. Just pop a giggle gummy and you'll be reaching for new heights, both literally and metaphorically. 
Warning, side effects may include sudden bursts of laughter, a tendency to high-five unsuspecting birds, and the inexplicit urge to challenge giraffes to a staring contest. Get your HDH today. Stand tall because life is too short to be short. <laughs> you, you know what? Go to highgigglehormones.com and use code BC, was it BCP2024. Fantastic. <laughs> Good job, Martel. You like that? I'm just That's proud good. that you made it through there. I did. I read it word for word. You going to clip that out so we can just use it every time? Maybe. It's good stuff. I was surprised you didn't jump in with something. I It was a sponsor read. I'm trying to be professional. Trust me. I had thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> BCP 2024. Yep. Why BCP? Buck. Well. BHP. BHP. Sorry. Buck one pocket. <laughs> no. Is it? How do I name the shows? It's. Now I got to look. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I, fuck, my brain is not working apparently. For <laughs> take two. Well, beep. no, no, it's yeah, it's B, BCP, but BHP, BHC, HGH, <laughs> THC, <laughs> ABCs, WTF. It's the easiest one, two, threes. B, it's 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 BCP twenty twenty four. That's what I told them to use. BCP. Just BCP. PCP 2024. <laughs> it's Buckcorn Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> BCP. It's fine. You sound like a four year old trying to say our podcast name. Buttcorn Podcast. Buttcorn Podcast. I do lit. Oh, Me yeah. Do I, may, I may clip that out so that we can, I'll just <coughs> plug it in somewhere and <coughs> beginning of the show, end of the show type of thing. All right. Well, we got a legit sponsor. You got to say Bucket. Mm. But corn podcast. I want to do the next read for it. If you want to fight a motherfucking giraffe <laughs> and bite a bird mid flight, <laughs> get your BCP butt corn podcast. I, I like I, high giggle I, test around. I like high bite, giggle hormones. Bite a bird mid flight. <laughs> 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 and we can't make fun of our, of our sponsor. No, I just want to do like that extreme, like guaranteed to make you run faster and jump <laughs> higher. You can fight giraffes and rip out their purple tongues. Purple tongues. <laughs> no, thank you. Good read, man. You like that? Glad we got a sponsor. Me too. I kind of want to try it. It actually sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> Well, they didn't send us any, so. <laughs> Which, but if we use BCP 2024, we can get our own discount. We can get our own discount. It's ten percent off. Hey, there you go. Take that, Texas. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I'll pick my butt on my own podcast if I want. Maybe I'll fondle your mom's balls wow. while I'm at it. Boy, that took a turn. Yeah, it did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, we got we got what two more? Three if we want. Three if we want. Look, I got to drive. I got I got hazy as fuck, Elvis as fuck, and Guinness. Fuck it, let's run through them. Let's, let's so yeah, run through the save the Guinness for last. Yeah, let save me. the Guinness for last. So so the nanny I'm, state. As far as let's, let's nanny nanny states like you know two. Was that the first one? That, that was, was the first, first one. one. I'll give it about two donuts. Okay. Yeah, two two out of five. It wasn't bad, but that's not something, especially without the alcohol, I'd be like, yeah, I need more. Well, I don't think that they, do they have a, like a hoppy golden that is alcoholic? Like what would be equivalent to that? Pull up brew dogs. Because punk as fuck, they don't. Like that is. They, they, I mean, punk is their flagship IPA. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Punk is their flagship IPA. Elvis Juice Elvis is Juice one of their, is, is their oh. biggest sellers. Hazy Jane is another one of their flagships. Another giant wedgie. I mean, most of these are their flagships. Okay. That's not a... I'm not completely against BrewDog. Uh, They're just pricey. They're just overly priced for what they do. And I get it. This smells great. This is a New England style hazy. BrewDog has a wine that I love. I forget what it's called. I I know the bottle. Ooh, that's not bad. No, that's... Really, really so well. So so we? so nanny. We all said a two. Yeah, yeah. So punk. I'm at a three. You're at a three on punk. Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half, three. Yeah. For yeah. If, if you're looking for something cold to drink on a hot day after mowing the lawn, and you don't want to get fucked up, and you, and you're you've already 
bit in a bird mid flight and fought a giraffe. <laughs> Ripped out his purple. And you're time. like, you're like, man, I need to cool off, chill a little. The punk AF, good stuff. Yeah, I like it. Refreshing. Yeah. This though, this is really tasty. I like this. This says embrace the opaque because it reminds me of hugging our buddy DJ. <laughs> He's opaque. He is kind of <laughs> opaque. He's the black, the his, blackest opaque guy. His I've dad ever met. is black, but he is definitely opaque. He is white. He is a CPA. I was so at Harley's basketball game. They were wearing white jerseys, so I was constantly yelling, "Get the ball, white! Get the ball!" <laughs> Go, they, Whitey! But the other team was primarily black and maroon, and they were yelling, <laughs> "Get the ball, black!" <laughs> <laughs> so we were rooting for the whites. I know our buddy Faith from Texas racist. loves that. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for the whites. They're white and purple you versus say black and maroon. Our Texas boy just went, hell yeah. Praise hell. Praise <laughs> hell. Turn left. Go fast. Oh, shit. I love my cousin. I've actually that's got, Alabama. You can, you can love your no, cousin. That's, that's West Virginia. West Virginia's cousin. Yeah. Alabama's sister. You can love your cousin. Just don't love. Make love. Cousins. <laughs> love. So, all right. So, I'm... Um, I like the hazy more than the punk. I like the hazy a and lot I, more than the punk. So and I'm gonna, I like the punk as an actual beer more than I like the hazy, but I like the non-alcoholic hazy better. Yeah, the punk, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm probably like a two and a half on that punk. I'm at a three on the yeah. punk. I'm at a three on this hazy. Yep. I'm opposite of you. Really? Yeah. I, the hazy's not bad, but it's got a different aftertaste. I don't hate, but I don't love. The punk was just refreshing the whole way down. Okay. I mean, yep. it, was just, it was just smooth and cool and... Just a nice cold beer. Like if that thing was like freezing cold on ice, you know. See, yeah. that's what I feel nice with the, this hazy. Yep. With the hazy, I've just got a little of the aftertaste. Again, it's not a bad aftertaste. I just don't like it as much. Okay. As the punk. I can get down with that. Still still good. I can get with that. For a non-alcoholic beer, I'm impressed. Yeah, for non-alcoholic beer. Honestly, I'm, for, with all three of them, I'm impressed. Like honestly, non-alcoholic beers have come a really long way. Wild well, went got some duels. In a just so we could compare because that's the only non alcoholic beer I'd had before today. God damn it. What is it? What's the, the beer that comes in a green bottle? Oh, Heineken. Heineken, 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 he, Heineken 0.0 yes. is, is really good. That's See, I was thinking that I, I had was one like, last it can't be night. Heineken. It was yeah, Heineken. That's yeah. what we did. I had it was one Heineken. Last night. 0.0. Yeah. yeah. I had one left over in my fridge last night and the shanks came over real quick. So I had one of those. Yeah. That's that's what it was we did either, well, it was saving us some. either last year or the year before. I can't remember. We But we did. A non-alcoholic on on the show before, and I think it was it was the Heineken zero 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 point zero. Could have been because that's because that's we also did the athletic. You and I, I I, I, I think the athletic's pretty decent too. I'm, I'm almost certain we did the athletic. We did an athletic one too because I specifically went out and bought. I'm like oh, I don't really like this one. I'm almost certain it was. So, yeah, I like this. Oh man, I'm gonna buzz. I need he, to check something real quick. I was about to say you're doing this wrong then. Still, still recording. I didn't unplug anything. Sweet. <laughs> didn't trip over anything this time. <laughs> Get off Instagram, Mike. We're podcasting. I'm, All I'm right. Looking up beers. Okay. So the hazy. Uh, we're at a three. Really like the hazy. Um, you're at a three. I'm at a three. You're at I'm a, at a two three. and a half. You're at a two and a half. Mike's at a three. And then we've got the Elvis left over. And Elvis, I'm a big fan of Elvis juice. Yeah. I really the double Elvis juice though. Ooh. Don't like. Don't it. like it. No. Uh, but the Elvis juice, the regular I stuff, the it's darker. I had the Elvis in a flight one time, but I don't remember it. Grapefruit IPA. It's a grapefruit IPA. And I I love grapefruit. I do, too. I just cut one open and just a little bit of sugar and eat it. Yeah. I used to have grapefruit spoons. They have uh, a, a serrated yep, edge on the yep, yep, on the yep. end of them. Another another. Those are called sporks. To... No, where I come from. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's it's a it's it a doesn't have spoon. It yeah, doesn't have tines. Spoon. It just has a slight it's serration. Serrated. Okay, you guys are rich, but for us poor white trash, <laughs> we use sporks. I, I actually I have a titanium spork too. That's not real. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bring it next week and I'll stab you with it. Most people have a silver spoon. He has a titanium. <laughs> spork. I, have, titanium I have a titanium spork. spork. <laughs> Way to up it. I know. I bought it for work. The uh, You work from home. <laughs> this was years ago. Because I needed something that I could keep at my desk because I got tired of eating with plastic silverware. <laughs> All right. So Elvis AF. And I like that they called it AF. 
and they called it alcohol free, but everybody else, we all know what AF stands for. Yeah. After finishing. Aardvark fight. If you ever want to punch an aardvark, use BCP 2024 for 10% off of HGH whatever. Aardvark punting. After, after, you've, after you've slain a giraffe. High giggle hormones. Yeah. And choked out a bird mid-flight. We're never going to get paid. They're going to listen to the show and be like, fuck it, we're pulling. Yeah. We're out. I wouldn't be the first time somebody pulled out on us. <laughs> so, But they're not going to finish. Eh. Is that our problem or theirs? <laughs> so I think after, well, we, we're doing this Elvis, then we'll, then we'll have the the Heine, or the, the Guinness. But I think so. Mike and I were talking about doing Winterfest beer fest, and you're like, Nah, I'm, I'm out on that, which is fine. Yeah, I might be in on that. I just said I was out on that. We'll see how I feel when it comes closer. Well, our thought is. Maybe hitting up. Well, we got to get with Dom and Zach first. So doing Winterfest, they're involved. I mean, yes. they're actually one of the sponsors. Yeah, so. they're one of the the big one. They're one of the bigger sponsors, Double Edges. But maybe hitting up Winterfest, getting we'll call it a buzz. It'll be more than a buzz, and then heading over to the Double Edge and recording a show over there with Dom and Zach. The only thing that if they're might, up for it, I was about to say the only thing that might be a problem with that is that. They have to shut everything down. And they'll have to be there for, you know, posterity. You know, I mean, Dom will be walking around. But, yeah, we'll figure that. We'll figure all that out. And if it doesn't work that way, then it doesn't work that way. But there we go. either way, at some point, we're going to get Dom and Zach on the show. Um, and it's kind of a mixed bag because I'd like to do it at Double Edge, but then... We can't do anything extra because you can't bring in outside alcohol or anything there. If we do it in the back, we could, because then we're not in, we're in the back, mm -hmm. which we'd probably have to record back here anyway, just to avoid noise and uh, other bullshit. Um, and then I want to have, I need to order, I need to order some two bitch and I want to have, um, God damn it! Why am I? I'm, Lauren? Uh, yes, Lauren. Lauren and Joe. Jesus, I'm blanking. My my brain's not working at all today. So I want to have Lauren and Joe on the show. Get them call in. You need some HGH. No, you need I, your brain to work so you can fight an alligator. I can, I can tell you what happened. So I'm ha I have a pinched nerve right now. In your brain? No, in my neck. I would have guessed your brain a long time ago. Yeah, well, that's just that's just fucked up. The anyway. fact that you read through a whole read without stuttering made me think something's wrong with you. Well, I've been I've been working on it. Uh, I went back to kindergarten. He's, he's been at home like I've been. I've been reading every night. He's just going to, going over it. I've been reading. Do this, I can do that. Um, yeah. Okay. So I want to have Joe and Lauren on the show, and I want to try to get Jason C from the Mash and Drum on the show. That would be awesome. That'd be cool. So, and he's down for it. We just got to find time because I've already talked to him about it. He actually mentioned us on one of his live shows. Oh, really? Did he mention that we sell HGH? Only because I logged in as I logged in under both my accounts from I logged in from my phone into YouTube and logged into uh, YouTube from the Buckhorn yeah. YouTube account and I was watching his show on both devices and I was commenting to myself <laughs> <laughs> and to him and then I was I got us, great we, engagement on this show. We all could have been like, "Holy hell, Buckhorn podcast well, is here too." <laughs> what's funny is I would I would ask him a question with Mike or with the Buckhorn account, he'd answer it, and I'd ask, I'd answer the his question back from my personal account. So he knew. I mean, he knows yeah. that it was yeah. both of me. But I was just, both I was just being funny. So, but I talked to him. He was, he's like, I'm down. He's like, I'll, you know, we just got to find time. And uh, he did say, at one point, he did say, he's like, I'm going to mention your show and see what you're, just see if. Your levels rise. We gained one listener from Texas. <laughs> well, he did it with dude. Like he's always mentioned uh -huh. bourbon hunters, and their engagement went like through the fucking roof. Sweet. So I'm like, yeah. I mean, you don't. I said I was being like modern. Like you don't have to. Like if you do it, great. You don't have to. You don't. 
You don't have to, but please, <laughs> pretty please. It was while I was. If you could mention that uh, we can get you ten percent off HGH. I was standing there. I'm like, you don't have to do it. <laughs> However, <laughs> if you know you want to, it's fine. It's fine. You just, you know, just say, "Hey, go check out the Buckhorn podcast." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They can help you fight your ass. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. He he hasn't really mentioned other than the fact that I was logged in and he's like, "Oh, Buckhorn podcast." Da, 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 da. I'm like, because I we were, he was talking about the Bourbon Trail, so that's why I logged in under. My account or the the Buckhorn account. Don't know how this slipped my mind. That was one of my Christmas gifts. The Bourbon Trail. Bourbon Trail. Yeah, are you going? Yeah. When? Don't know. Yeah. Haven't, set, haven't set it up yet. Hold on. That's one of my Christmas gifts. Bourbon Trail. Bourbon Trail. You going? Nope. No, <laughs> like, just don't know when. Well, he could have been like. Eh. It's like uh, I got a gift certificate to Jack Fry's, one of the restaurants down there. Yeah. And Melissa bought t- two tickets for the Fraser Museum. Okay. So like, there's money invested. Now it's just That's a matter the guy that of fought Ali. Yeah. Nice addition. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, there's an Ollie Diversity. Boulevard down there. And if he yeah. takes HGH, he can find a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> We're never getting fucking paid, ever. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a matter of, like, my schedule, her schedule, everything else that's going on. We just have to figure it out. We both bought, got trips for each other. Fucking for awesome. If, yeah. well, if, if, get it, get it scheduled soon. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to do it, schedule the Evan Williams speakeasy tour. Or the, the not the tour, yeah. but the speakeasy tasting. Before Fucking they close, do yeah. that. Yeah, God absolutely. Do it because that is that is the best part of going the, into the Evan Williams stuff. Like that's the best tasting that you'll ever get. That's awesome. Yeah. All so right, let's rate the Elvis juice. So we so can move on. Elvis juice. Three, three point five. Yeah, yeah, I'm at a three five. Three and a half. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely. That's my favorite of them all. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is by far the best one. That's yeah, one it's my that... favorite of like the actual beers that they make. That's one that I will get. Well, that's on one of the most pretty, popular. Yeah, 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 consistent basis. When I go boating, I go buy like the if I can get a twelve or eighteen pack. Yeah, that's what I pick up. And they and they're usually the big boys anymore too. Yeah. It, well, they did a. I haven't seen recently. They they do a twelve pack of the big boys. Mm-hmm. They did an eighteen. Ooh. I was like, That's called a for, the, for the price of a 12. Of 12. I was like, yes. Jeez. In. It was awesome. I'm very curious about this one. Because so, I love Guinness. So. I'm not a huge Guinness guy, so I'm, I'm by curious about it. Okay. So I got a Christmas. The, one of the Christmas gifts, I, I'm going to see uh, Burt Kreischer. Nice. When he comes awesome. in April. That's awesome. Get him on the show. I, I would love to get him on the show. Yeah. I don't think he'll come on, but... I can shoot him a message and be like, "Hey, he called in for five minutes. Hey, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the show. I want to. Hey, you get that HGH shit and tell him we have it, and you tell him he can come in here, show him the wall, and be like, your pick, Bert. I guarantee you he'd show up. I don't guarantee that, but <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee but he'll show up. I have no Bert, way of backing that up, right? right? Yeah. Knowing Bert Kreischer, I, I'm I also not reliable. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I'll, I'll message him. How? Fuck, I'll message him right now. <laughs> Funny with that. Hold point. on. Hey, we got a podcast. We're huge fans. We love Two Bears One Cave. The Cabin's my favorite show ever. It is such a great show. the The, the machine was. Some people are like, eh, it was stupid. I'm like, it was funny. The movie. Yeah. I, yes. la- I I went into it knowing the premise, and I still laughed. Yeah. It, like, it was. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not expecting this to win awards. I'm He's here to be fucking entertained. That every time he does stand up, I laugh. Mm-hmm. He's got it. Well, I've I've watched all of his specials. And Secret Time is by far the funniest one. <laughs> yeah. Razzle That's Dazzle is good, but Secret Time Tom is... Tom Segura is fucking funny as hell, too. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping... I'm, I'm, I'm secretly hoping, because Bert's here... That he'll show up? No. <laughs> that, well, maybe Tom shows up, but that Dave Chappelle shows up. Because oh. Dave... When Rogan was here... Yeah, he just pops up. He just popped in. He showed up when the Chili Peppers were here. Yeah. I'm, so I'm hoping that Chappelle just kind of sneaks in, because that would be awesome. Because when he did it with Joe, he did an entire hour, like just yeah. And Joe just, was like, "Shit, I got my whole system." You know, he's like, "I got my whole set to do too." So everybody got like this bonus bonus hour of of Chappelle. That'd be awesome. God damn it, Chappelle's my favorite comedian right now by far. Burr, he's got a new special out too. He does. Um, Burr Segura, um, Kreischer, it's hilarious. Fine. It's okay. Yeah, it's just it's Guinness Light. <laughs> It's got a, and it might be the cigar. It's, it's got like a funny aftertaste. It's like sharp malt. Yeah. Yeah, Guinness has that too. I don't get it with normal Guinness. 
We should compare. Light. Light. We need to do the NAs next to the regulars. You could totally do that. Yeah. I mean, obviously not this month, but. <laughs> it's like you, you suck at sucking. Sucking a dick. You know, but if he had some HGH, he could keep that lid. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm using all your fucking. <laughs> they were free. <laughs> and free worth every penny. Yeah, worth sure. every penny. Right. Woo, light. There we go. Go on. Meanwhile, I lit my cigar once and it's just sitting there just chilling. Apparently, I need to pack these. <laughs> like a something. cigarette or something. Anyway, all right. So, the Guinness. Two. Yeah. That's what I'm like. I was I was like well, one half two. Yeah, two is two is more one. than more than worthy. Like I like I like Guinness. I'm at a one on this. This isn't. But this Guinness. isn't. Yeah, that's not. Do- I'm, I was is, curious, and I was like, "Fuck, we're doing an A show." Watered Might as down well. Guinness. And Guinness doesn't have much to go with, anyways. Right. A little four percenter. So it's. Eh. It's all right. I'm a one. I would not buy this again, ever. Yeah, this one, well, you say again, but... I would not buy this. I would not drink this again. Well, I might. Somebody else bought it, but I doubt it. I'm not a fan of this one. All yeah. four <laughs> of those knocked this out of the... I agree. Yeah, the, the Elvis juice was the best one by far. Yep. Elvis, Hazy, Punk. It, it Reverse order of how we drank them for me. Mine goes yeah. Elvis, Punk, Hazy... Um, What was the first one? Nanny State. Nan- yeah, Nanny, Nanny State. State. And Guinness is which is a great even. fucking name for a non-alcoholic yeah. beer. <laughs> it's like, here we go. Guinness is so Here's low. Your... It's by the giraffe's hooves. <laughs> I even, if I think about it, HGH, <laughs> I can't even see Guinness. It's so far below me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we might be their All best right. sponsor. God, I, I hope that people start buying shit now. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna paint HGH on my belly next time. Just be like, wham! <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. HighGigglehormones.com. <laughs> BCH. BCP. BCP. We don't know. BCP 2024. PCP? PCP. Yeah. yeah. THC. Somebody, somebody's going to go there to buy from us and put in the wrong thing, and we're never <laughs> going to see a dime because Martel can't spell. That's all right. Anyway, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the tweet. You, and YouTube. Fuck yeah. Twitter. It's the Google. Yeah. X. The, X. X. It's the Google Tubestagram. Uh is. Did you see the recent valuation? X slash Twitter has lost seventy three percent of the value he bought it for. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I use it just as much now as I did when it was Twitter. Yeah, you can have that. Fuck. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want that. Can you just imagine like wasting that much? Forty billion dollars and, and just losing and be like, yeah, it. like meh, whatever. Yeah, he did that. And then went. You know what? Let's just go launch a rocket about it. Yeah. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. I wish. I, I wish I could like, just. That's like, that's like me buying something for that's like fifty bu- bucks and be like, ah, whatever, it's fifty bucks. I just I just bought a Tesla and just drove it into a fucking bridge abutment, <laughs> <laughs> off the lot, just <laughs> off the lot. Fuck it, and then walked away. Like, yeah, eh, I'll buy another one. It was oh, fine. you didn't walk away. You did. I'll, yeah. buy, I'll buy another one. It's yeah. fine. Anyway, fucking believable. Like, share, subscribe on YouTube. Comment. Comment. I love I love I love that Johnny's commenting. So oh, time to pick my it, butt. Keep keep it up. Now you're um, supposed to do that 15 minutes ago, sir. Anyway, I'm Martel from Mike and Randy. We're out. We're out. Bye. Bye.